welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Command Center, where we like to put our favorite commander, maybe even yours, front and center. And you know we can't do that unless you play those three beautiful letters, E-D-H. What does it stand for today, Hido Ken? You know what? I'm actually fine with y'all not knowing what it is today, because we got to talk about a serious topic that's pl- that's invading the magic community, all right? But it stands for evade, distract, and hide. That's right. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a pimp on these planes. And we talking about these planeswalkers who is coming for your significant others, a.k.a. Mr. Steal Your Girl and or man. We, they, it's, it's hot in these streets, man. I mean, they out there doing something strange. For some change I, on these planes. Honestly, I think they just got some game. I'm just telling you, man. That's how they running it right now. But let, let's go ahead and give. Let's go ahead and explain further what we talked about. Derek, teach them. So all of us have had this experience where we're out with our significant other at the club. We're having a good time. We turn around, and lo and behold, Teferi's chilling with your girl, just sitting there buying her drinks, showing her that he can pass through time, taking her into the future, the past. We can't compete with that. So this video is to prepare you to th- let you know what to look out for and let you know what planeswalkers are coming to steal I your know. girl. This is out there buying your girl flowers. You know, Sandra, they're paying her, paying her light bill. You know, it's getting <laughs> it's getting real raw in these streets. So yeah. we're gonna talk about the five most the five most offenders of planeswalkers who are out there that you need to watch out for because it's getting real breezy out here. Do we want to start with an honorable mention? Uh, no, 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 no. Or just jump straight into I it. I want to jump into this list because I got I got beef with this person personally. Go ahead, you started off. Okay, Oko the Broco, aka Oko <laughs> the break your Oko the break it off in your girl, aka <laughs> Oko take your homeboy out for you know some eats and some treats. I'm he good. might he might just. Turn your homeboy into an elk. I'm just telling know. you, man. That's how he feels. Get he him out of the way. Day. You seen the card. Put the card up. I'm talking about old sexy, flexy old looking dude. <laughs> the <laughs> only one that got something on him is a uh, naked man in the tree. I'm just telling <laughs> you, man. If Oko asked me out, I couldn't say no. Like, also, there's like the threatening aspect of it, not to make it weird, but like, Oko will just turn your ass into an elk if you say no. So if he asks you out for a drink, I'm terrified. There is no way I want to be an elk. Hold up. Talking about soapbox time. Let me get on it. One time. Okay, I, I got to admit this. My girl was over here. I accidentally left my deck out, right? Mm. Oko was sitting there. I come back into the room. She's talking about, hey, we, let's, can we be friends? I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what? Rookie mistake. Rookie, Rookie mistake. mistake. I know. Yeah. I'm going to eat that bullet, but that's okay. The only uh, deductive reasoning and only factor was that Oko was out. That, that's yep. the, what, it was what it had to be. And if you look at his text, <clears throat> he literally says, I can take your stuff and give you something I don't care about. And flex on you the whole time, too. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on to number two. Go okay. ahead, Derek. Go ahead, Derek. Then at number two, we have Tybalt Cosmic Imposter. Look, like just from a just from a front facing perspective, Tybalt's hot as I mean, he's hot as hell. He's like a demon devil looking thing. So like, bam, Tybalt, right there. Tybalt, nah, Tybalt got a little bit of a glow up. Oh, it, so it, much. It ain't the Cosmic Imposter. It's the Cosmic Pimp. Yeah. See, <laughs> no, Tybalt has that little underdog <laughs> thing going for him. Those early iterations of the card were so underpowered. Everybody had kind of felt bad. So he kind of just rolls in, playing it cool, playing it like, oh, no, like the underdog in this story. Bam, whips out some horns and abs. Everybody's think, following him out. on his coat now or something. Ooh, like yes, yes. Again, Tybalt, get at me. <laughs> All I know is Stay this. away. Stay away from my girl. <laughs> yeah, All stay I away know. from my girl, but call me. All I know is this. A young Christopher Bridges... A great poet from Atlanta came out with a song saying that he had women in different area codes. If you look on the track as producer and songwriter, you'll see Tibble's name right there. It's I'm true. telling you right now, man. True story. True story. It's a true story, man. It's, it's a secret that we don't like to tell in Atlanta, but that's how I be going. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to mine. This one is, um, this one hits close to home. Okay. Because this is the reason I kind of fell in love with Magic in a way. Um, it was I saw this dude named Teffrey, right? And it kept being mentioned in like every card. Teffrey's Isle, uh, Teffrey turn you into a ghost. Teffrey's cloak. Teffrey. I'm like, who is Teffrey? Teffrey that I, pisses in the wind. Teffrey that makes your girl sandwiches. Yo, and, look. And, I, and I finally saw a picture of Teffrey. This was Teffrey back when he just had a uh, a legendary creature card. This is what I like to call Shamar Moore Teffrey. Okay. Ooh. And the, and the thing is, see, see Teffrey real sneaky because he comes in all shades so he can hide. So he, he can, he, the thing is, he rude. Yeah, it's real weird. It's real he, come weird. At, he come at your girl from every angle. Like, you that, can get the, the Chico the Barge version or you can get the Wesley Snipes version. There, or, the, I, I'll be real. There is 
uh, uh, Idris Elba version, which is out right now. That's the hot one in the streets right that's now. That's the one that's hot right now. There's a, vote. there's a, like I already mentioned, Shamar Moore. There's a common version, like Common Sense, what, the rapper what's version. The, what's the shaky voice dude who say main a lot? Uh, you talk about Terrence, uh, Terrence Howard. Howard. That's the most dangerous one right there. <laughs> I was going to say that it was more like Affion Crockett. That's but, the know. most dangerous one right there, okay? <laughs> Yo, hey, you go home, you wake up, and all her stuff going out your house yep. because, you know, he flipping dimensions and then flipping you off. That's right. That's and I, I, lastly, I think there's an Eddie Murphy one. If you into that, <laughs> I can't read the Terrence Howard. <laughs> we about to take y'all to another plane in time. Yo, y'all. man. Yo, he ain't doing what we're supposed to do, man. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and go to the next one, kid. Okay. Uh, you, you, you know this is uh this is one of the most egregious offenders out there. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Cause this one is still pulling off them, 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 that, that, that twilight, that twilight flat, that flash right there. Mm-hmm. You know who I'm talking about. He's always been a problem, but in the latest Crimson Vow set, he oh just he just went ridiculous. All right, I'm talking about Soren, uh, pimp of all pimps. All right, you talking about since been pimping? Yeah, um, interview with the vampire Soren. Yeah, I'm talking about the Dracula <laughs> Soren. A, a, heavy emphasis on the D. So the the <laughs> And you come here, you see his old interview with the vampire looking behind the stroll up, like, yo, why you with him? You know, I feel some type of way. I saw that card. I was like, yo, who is you trying to flex on? <laughs> who is you trying? Like, I, I opened the pack and I saw him. I was like, who is you trying to flex on? Like he was so sedity. Looking. I was like, square like- up, son. <laughs> I would have to go in my closet to get my Tims. That's how serious it was. I ain't even from New York. I've, I've never wanted to physically fight a magic card until I saw Soren, Mr. Steal Your Girl. I mean, I'm, fight's one way to put it. I'm just sitting there. You looking at my calumny all frosty and stuff. What you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You ain't even in this deck. What you doing? I even gave that Soren a spot on one of my bro videos just to tell him to get at me, and he didn't. <laughs> That's, that's the first sword to ever have an OnlyFans. True story. <laughs> Who's next one we getting up? Dacky Faden. Oh, oh. Dak Faden. Go ahead, hit him up, Derek. Yeah, Dak Faden is just like, I feel like this is the original Magic Mr. Stereo Girl because yeah. Yeah. he's taking artifacts immediately, like not asking for permission, nothing mm-hmm. like that. He is just snatching up artifacts. And then it's like, look, you know what You know what? Dak Faden does that's even more messed up? He's not taking your girl. He's going to go ahead. All that jewelry you bought, your significant other, he's stealing that shit, and he's going to go ahead and give it back, re-gift that, and then steal them that way because he's taking all the artifacts. First of all, you pronounced it wrong. It's the art of the facts. These are the truth. <laughs> this is what's real in the streets. It's the reason why the hand is red. So when he puts it down, you know he's doing it. Yeah. He comes in every time he walks into a club. He's like, "For he got turned to the side, <laughs> son. <laughs> she came, when, she and, came here with you, but she walking out here with me." And when they see the red hand of a Faden, they're like, "You know what? I don't even want these hands." I, I, I have seen it. him give more fades than the barbershop. That's true. I, it's ridiculous. This is this is the gambit of magic cards. Just just lining yeah. them up. Just yeah. lining them up. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and hit the last one. We said Told Y'all's Five is really six because okay. bam. We need female representation. On we this. understand. And I feel like I, I saw this one and I was just like, I can't pronounce your name, but you were sexy and you were still in everybody. And this is uh, Gayadrome Dahada. First of all, only the only the people she select can say her name. So you want to select I, I wasn't. That, that's perfectly fine. I wasn't either because I call her Gigi. So look, <laughs> all I know is when she steps into the club. She probably floats. I was just telling or, you. Or like lies. squiggles. She's, she's got, got tentacles. She got, she, I don't she, know. She, she, I, she's a vamp, it's a vampire. She looks ancient. So, you know, one of the first vampires is out there. So, she probably is pulling everything. She just, yeah. She's floating and squiggling. She just does her thing. It literally says on her card, still target creature or planeswalker. The girl got more pull than gravity. I'm just telling you. That's how that's how, that's how how nasty she is in these streets out here. Hey, if she wiggled one tentacle my way, I'm following her. I can't, I can't say no. Can't Man, say what? Can't say no. Baby. All right, so let's go ahead. I think we all got an honorable mention. Okay, oh, yeah. so go ahead and drop yours, Ken. Okay, uh, this 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 plays Walker almost made the list. As a matter of fact, he didn't make the list because he's too egregious. Because he burned the whole house down. I mean, I'm cool if you steal the girl, but I I I I don't need I, you. I need my house. I need my house. Okay, <laughs> okay. My boy Nikki B. Nikki he, B. He still he still your girl. Your mothballs, the bu- the baking soda in your refrigerator. He will steal your plane. The, the, two, the, 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 the last toothpaste in the tube, he take all that. That man don't care. He vi- he violates out here in these streets. So we like we didn't want to put him on the list because we were scared. So, so that's why I didn't put him on the list. What about y'all? 
I, I wholeheartedly agree. Definitely an honorable mention. Um, Nickel Bowles got, like you said, he got a lot of pull, and he definitely laid out a law. I'm telling you, man. You gonna see about him? Nah, nah, I ain't <laughs> nah I'm cool. You know, you know, I'm gonna talk trash. I'm, I'm gonna talk trash when he walk away, but I'm gonna be quiet when he here. I'm yeah, cool. yeah. I'm cool. Uh, Derek, who's your honorable mention? Ooh, so this was easy for me. We, we left off, I think, the best Mrs. Steal your significant other is, is Tamio completed Sage. Because not only is Tamio gonna steal your significant other, she's gonna have him coming home talking about she completes me. After the fact, it's even worse. that just like a stab. In, like that's so much worse. It's even worse with Tamio, especially like the field researcher, because if you all her, she literally derives from one of the great artists, Sir Clifford Harris. She says you can have whatever you like. Mm. It, it's, it's very disrespectful. You, you're, especially I didn't know you're so into poetry. I know, man. Especially on a man as a fixed income like I am, I can't just be getting out here giving these, giving them whatever they want. But Tamio will do that expeditiously. 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 Yeah. Uh, my honorable mention is gonna have to be Liliana. Oh um, man, I, I'm not even saying that like she's like into like uh, the opposite gender or whatnot. I, I think she just has that attraction mm. to her that no matter where she goes, it's, it's people more, are just even zombies. It's, even it's dead people, it's dead people are like, oh my, oh my it's goodness. Even more disrespectful because not only does she rob the cradle, she robs the grave. You know what? Goodness, just, just <laughs> out here she dual willing, man. Goodness, yeah, you, just out there playing in the dirt again. I'm just telling you. I, I think she can have anything she wants. Yeah. Um. She. I think she goes above what Ti says in that regard. So, I'm telling you, man. Um. If you agree with our list, let us know. If you okay. know, if you if you know some other planeswalkers who who can steal your significant other, yeah. who should be on this list. We couldn't couldn't talk about everybody. We know that uh, Gideon, our fallen hero, he he's, he's fell off, but you know they replaced him with a very interesting looking um. A uh, very interesting looking dude. Um. Remember, if you can dodge a pimp, you can dodge a planeswalker. <laughs> but if you see any of these planeswalkers that we mentioned, and you think you, they need to, you need to recruit them to be a part of your deck. Then won't you check out in our affiliate link at the bottom of the TCG link? Help yourself out. Help out your help out your local LGS. Help us out, and you know what? Have your significant other stolen in the same fashion. That's you know right. what? Real dudes cry on the inside. So, like, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us as we talked about this subject. You know. Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. Like and subscribe. But until next time. Put on Drake. I'm telling you. <laughs>